when you compare colleges that are similar to one another in uh, important ways, particularly in terms of selectivity and, and the types of students who arrive. And we know that that's probably the single most influential factor over graduation rates, that, that otherwise similar colleges have very different graduation rates. Now, this report is not to suggest that all colleges should have a 100% graduation rate. Uh, they shouldn't. Uh, graduation is a joint responsibility between students and institutions. Sometimes students don't meet those responsibilities and colleges need to maintain their standards. Harvard has a 98% graduation rate. Heck, that's probably too high. You know, it seems like it's pretty hard not to graduate from Harvard once you get in. Um, at least that's what people who go there tell me. Um, so it's not reasonable to compare that to, say, an open access public four-year institution and say, why isn't your graduation rate 98%? Um, but if that open access public four-year institution has a 35% graduation rate, and that's what the numbers look like, or worse, if it has a 20% graduation rate for students of color, and that is not uncommon, unfortunately, in these graduation rate numbers, and there are other open access public four-year institutions that we can point to that have similar students, similar levels of funding, a similar academic mission, and are graduating, say, 60%, of students, 65 percent. Those are big. Those are big differences. Those are big numbers. And if we can, if if only our our lowest performing colleges and universities do as well as their peers are already doing, we really can make a significant difference in helping more students graduate from college. 